All right, welcome back. Well, I have another request. I had another request to take a look at something called Peppermint OS. Seems like I've had quite a few requests lately. Happy to do them when I have the time. All right, Peppermint OS. I took a look at this when it first came out several years ago, and I liked what I saw. This is built for speed. It's built off the LXDE desktop environment. Briefly here, it says people have been trying to create an effective web centric operating system meaning cloud-based uh, for years now this is especially true in linux with projects like like ubuntu netbook remix ubuntu netbook remix google chrome os moblin don't know moblin all right all coming to the forefront in recent years on the downside of things these systems though great for surfing the web lack a lot of the familiar familiarity that people demand from something they use on a day-to-day basis okay while conceptualizing peppermint we toyed around with the ideas of trying to determine how to best meet our goal of providing a fast web centric operating system all right i won't read the rest of this i've taken a look at this and i can tell you i like what i saw i believe some of the members here were also um at some point on the linux mint team unless i am mistaken let's take a look at peppermint os i will not be in installing this because it runs just fine the way it is. Um, I love the wallpaper, by the way. It looks kind of cool. All right, one simple icon, install Peppermint 5. This should have an automatic installer for beginners. All right, one panel at the bottom. Well, this is power. Of course, time and date. Volume. And two working spaces. Right click. Again, not a lot of choices here, but you know, this is very, very lightweight. So, and you have some wallpapers. I kind of like the default wallpaper, so I'm just going to hit cancel for now. Menu, a simple menu. If you love the Windows XP, uh, maybe did okay with Windows 7, not too crazy about Windows 8, you want something simple with a start menu, this might be the one for you. Let's go to accessory, see if anything sticks out here. The file manager, PC man, or pack man as I call it. Games. Uh, let's see, not too many games. Graphics. All right. Internet, the Chromium web browser by default. Very nice. I do recommend that you take a look at the online user guide. Office, let's see, document viewer, Gmail calendar and Google Drive is installed as it would be because again this is cloud-based or web centric sound and video this is all fine I would install VLC to system tools all right gparted install network the software manager software updater I do like the synaptic package manager installed by default this is a very powerful tool for installing and deleting packages or pieces of software Preferences, additional drivers, Bluetooth, customized look and feel, default, desktop, this. Let's see, anything here? Uh, nothing here sticks out. Let's take a quick look at customized look and feel. Let's see, clear looks, crux, industrial. All right, very easy to change the look. Uh, light, rally, 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 Redmond. The nice. I like the purple, so I'll leave it at crux. Why not? And close. Again, simple to navigate to and through. All right, of course, Chromium, the software manager. Let's take a quick look at the software manager real quick. And this is going to run a little bit slow in a virtual box. That is to be expected. This should run perfectly fine. In fact, if you have an old machine with a gigabyte of RAM, or even less, I think this will run okay. Okay, while that's loading, what's left? The file manager run and of course log out. Okay, let's see if this will pop up here. Maybe, maybe so, there we go. All right, a nice colorful software manager. This is where you can sur uh, surf and serve, <laughs> serve yourself packages. Let's take a quick look at the sound and video. And this is where you can install packages 
based on sound and video. Let's see. By the way, Radio Trays is a terrific online radio streaming player. I like it a lot. And of course, you have some other choices here. But that is the that is one way to install software. Another way is through the Synaptic Package Manager. Well, what can I say about Peppermint OS? It's it's fast. It's lightweight. I believe this was small enough you can burn this on a uh, CD versus a DVD, or you can and, uh, create if you if you so choose to a USB bootable stick. But if you want something lightweight, install quickly, and to get you moving, and you do a lot of your stuff, if not all of it on the web, this might be the one to go with. Of course, it can do more than just you know web-based applications but yeah if you have an older machine take a look at peppermint os i think you will like this one all right guys that's it for this one thank you so much for watching and listening and of course as always i will catch all of you sometime in the future